Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Today, we have a little something different. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming in from Kickstarters and all sorts of other things that I've backed over the last few years. So I thought maybe some of you would be interested in kind of unboxing videos. It's not going to be anything all that exciting, at least not until uh, some of the bigger games get here. Uh, but today, today I have my first shipment from uh, Comic Bento, which is a service kind of like Loot Crate. Uh, where every month they send you a box full of stuff. Uh, in this case, uh, that stuff's comic books. Uh, it's the only one of these that I've seen that has really caught my attention, because I've looked at what shows up in Loot Crate and, uh, and, and other stuff like that, and a lot of it is just stuff that I want absolutely nothing to do with, I have no need for, it would just take up space. But I'm a longtime comic book fan. Uh, back in the uh, mid-80s through mid-90s, uh, I had quite the expensive comic book, comic book habit that my uh, parents thankfully subsidized greatly. I haven't really regularly bought comic books in a really long time. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not vaguely up to date on what's going on in a lot of the uh, major market comics, Marvel and DC, because I have a lot of friends who do still read regularly, and hey, there's this fantastic thing now called Wikipedia that does a great job of letting you catch up and lose hours and hours at a time finding out what the latest ridiculousness that Marvel and DC have been up to uh, is. But Comic Bento uh, usually packages uh, collect collections of comics, uh, so that's that's good. That means I'm not going to be flailing around with single issues. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. I believe their pitch is uh, roughly twenty dollars a month for roughly sixty bucks a comics a month. Uh, can't complain there. Uh, got my first box today, and. Um, We'll see what's inside. I, I've resisted the urge uh, all day at work to open it and, and peek. Uh, I've cut the tape off already, and now I'm just going to flip it open. We get bubble wrap. Everyone loves bubble wrap. And we have a package of comics in a bag. So we will tear into this package. And we will see what we have inside here. We have a uh, card that mentions what the uh, theme is. It's Fight the Fight Collection. Um, I'll read all of that a little bit more. Uh, what we have here is we have uh, Superman and Batman uh, Vengeance uh, by Jeff Loeb, Ed McGuinness, and Dexter Vines. Uh, this looks like a uh, New 52 thing based on the artwork. Do, 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 do. So I'll be definitely checking that one out. Uh, this other one is um, Executive Assistant Iris, Volume 1, which I have no idea what this is. It looks interesting. Uh, she's a secretary, bodyguard, and assassin all rolled into one. All right. Works for me. Uh, David Wohl, uh, Eduardo Francisco, and John Starr. Um, complete first volume, so I should get a bunch of, uh, bunch of good stuff in there. Oh, this one's fun. Uh, this is a Highlander uh, collection. Uh, this is a uh, Volume 3 Armageddon, so I'm not sure uh, what's up with that. But it's still uh, still some nice looking artwork there. It's from Dynamite. Uh, who are the names attached to this one? Uh, Brandon Jirwa, uh, Carlos um, Rafael, and uh, color by Carlos Lopez. So I'll look into that a little bit more. Ah, 
ah, good old Valiant, uh, vaguely familiar with, uh, with this universe. Uh, this is Exo, Man of War, um, by uh, Roger Vendetti, Lee Garbert, Stefano Gardino, and Moose uh, Bauman. Uh, I can't say I've ever read a lot of Valiant stuff. I picked up a digital edition of a couple of things uh, on Drive Through Comics. It's it's interesting. It's stuff that I would have definitely been into back in the uh, back in the early '90s. Um, oh, this one looks really nice. This is something special. Um, this is uh, Daredevil. Uh, season 1 uh, by Anthony Johnstone and Wellington Al Alves. Uh, so this is an all-new original graphic novel modernizing the seminal origin and formative first days of this superhero icon that defined pop culture. Okay, sounds good. It says that it uh, includes a free digital copy on the Marvel Comics app, which uh, I don't actually have because I don't read a whole lot of comics, but this one's sealed in its own bit of plastic, so we will cut that open a little bit and uh, peel it back so I can get a look at the inside. Oop, there's the uh, code for the digital version, and we'll do a quick uh, browse. Definitely, uh, you get the classic uh, yellow and red uh, Daredevil suit in here. So that's uh, that's Daredevil. Not a uh, not a bad haul. A couple of uh, very recognizable names in uh, Superman and Batman and Daredevil. Uh, without question there. Uh, Hi Highlander, uh, the, the old television series, happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, so we'll see how this middle volume of uh, the, uh, the story goes. And uh, this uh, executive assistant, Iris, completely new to me. Can't say I've ever heard of it uh, or any of the people involved in it before. Um, but it looks it looks suitably interesting, uh, and then Exo Man of War, uh, kind of a uh, throwback for me to the the old uh, superhero days, which I guess are the new superhero days now. Uh, so I'll definitely uh, read through that over the next few days, and um, yeah, so I'm kind of back into the comic book game at least once a month, I guess. Uh, next month I'll uh, give a rundown of what I thought of these when I actually have a chance to read them and we'll be into uh, the next comic bento box about this time next month uh, which is one called Masks. Check out uh, comicbento.com I'll put the link down in the uh, down in the description uh, definitely if you're into comic books or if you were into comic books uh, check it out it looks like a good deal so far. That's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed a little bit of uh, my excitement uh, opening this box and, and seeing these uh, these comics. Uh, it may inspire me to wander down to the uh, local comic book shop the next time I'm uh, down the street where it is. If you liked what you saw, hey, hit the like button down at the bottom if you want to continue to see what I put out and be notified. Uh, when it comes out, uh, subscribe, and after you hit the subscribe button, there's a little gear that pops up. Hit that and uh, turn on email notifications, and that way uh, YouTube will send you an email saying, hey, there's a new video, anytime I put one up. And if you know anyone else that wants to come along on this uh, kind of strange, kind of um, weird trip, uh, of various things that I talk about, uh, share, share this with them. Send it off, uh, the more the merrier, and if you know of anything about any of these comics or want to talk about uh, classic comics or where comics are going or anything like that, uh, throw a comment down there and uh, maybe we can start up a discussion. Well, that's it for today. 
Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>